In this activity, we will see that vibrations produce sound. For this, you need a box, a rubber band, and I'm taking two chalks. You can also have two pens. Uh, this box is slightly smaller. So if you have a bigger box near you, you can use two pens instead of two chalks. Now for this, stretch the rubber band over the box. Place the chalk between the rubber band and the box. And now pluck the rubber band. When you pluck the rubber band, you will hear a sound. We do not hear any sound when the rubber band stops vibrating. So this shows that vibrations produce sound. Now most of the musical instruments vibrate, something or the other vibrates in that instrument which produces a sound. So let's let's listen to different instruments now and also understand what exactly is vibrating which is producing sound. Let's start with sitar. So for a sitar somebody has to pluck the string and when the string vibrates we hear a sound. Next is a guitar which works similarly, you have to pluck the string and because of that, because of the vibration of the string, you hear a sound. Now let's listen to a tabla. So you might be wondering what exactly is vibrating over here. Well, it turns out when you strike your hand to the top surface of this instrument, the membrane on the top over here, it starts vibrating and because of that, sound is produced. Okay, now for a xylophone, you strike these wooden keys on this wooden frame. And when, when that contact happens, there is vibration on the wooden frame because of which sound is produced with sounds like this. All right, we can see many more instruments, but you get the idea. The main idea is that vibrations produce sound. 